Ma, my daughter. I bestow on you all the powers of Ijele. Go forth. The spirit of the shrine of Akatangba will guide you. I will be with you spiritually and physically. The ugliest god that is married to the most beautiful goddess will be with you. The blind god that sees all other gods will be with you. The deaf and dumb god that speaks and hears for all other gods will be with you. As for your sister Nedi, she will never, never have an offspring for that man until she returns to where she rightfully belongs. Go forth and continue from where your father stopped. I am with you. I Father? How? I woke up cuddling your father, thinking it was you. Honey, your father is back. In the name of Jesus, I destroy you. Your father's bed. It is written that you have given all the power to trample upon serpent and scorpion. And the Lord, I pray, every demonic power in this house, roughly around this facility, I cast you into the name of Jesus. I swear upon the name of Jesus! Lose! I... I 
am back. And it's time for you to go back to where you rightfully belong. Hi! ready to make money? Are you not tired of every day pressing without achieving anything? No clients. Every night we go born. Every day we go born. Every on gen, on gen, on gen, on gen, on gen for nothing. Now we are borrowing money. In fact, me say I never see clients talk of to to get money. Hmm? Guys, you remember Splendor? Splendor. Splendor. Mm. Ah, that small boy. That small boy of yesterday. Now. Splendor yesterday. You know Splendor? Which Splendor? Ah. Splendor now, where give format how to write that American woman? Uh -uh. Splendor now? Uh -uh. <laughs> that small boy now. See this guy, Splendor now is the biggest boy in this village. We cannot sit where Splendor is sitting. We cannot stand where Splendor is standing. The other day I saw Splendor spending money, throwing money on the made doings. The other day, I was asking, uh -uh, Splendor, how far my guy? How far? The guy has told his bouncers to chase me out. He no more be a splendor. His name now is E.G. Splendor. Hey. That boy has money. God. And that woman I told you about, eh? that same woman, Nairon and Foram now. That woman I told you, Nairon and Foram. Guys, we are wasting time. Once we meet this woman, once everything is done, we will be the biggest boy. The biggest boys in town. Automatically, our life will just change. You guys are fucking up. Oh, no. You be like Sam Radio. Because I'm tired of all these Andre dolls every day now. You go right. the right person, you know, they reply. Go take one week to reply. All right. Oh, uh, see. When are we going there? Mm. Uh, yes. I, I beg. When are we traveling to go and see this woman? I am ready to go, no matter the distance. Good. I like that. Imaka, give me a hand. You guys are ready. Brave men. Yes. The woman lives in in Soka. Soka. Yes. So first thing tomorrow morning, we are going there. Soka. <laughs> uh, can't we go this night or oh, let's start going now? Ma he he said I... tomorrow morning, first thing. This night tomorrow morning, the same thing now. And what you do the hurry. What woman did you now? Splendor. Hey. Hi. Hey. E.G. Splendor. Oh, 
Sunday. 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 Thank you. This one is going back. Let's follow him. Let's go. Papa, you are welcome to the great shrine of Ezewa in Minyadere. Nobody steps inside this shrine and goes back home with the same problem. Whatsoever that has brought the three of you here from a far away land must be resolved. Sit. Ebonle <laughs> Tell the great Adele why you are here. Great one. We are into online business. And we have been in this business for so long. Yet, we don't have anything to prove. Our friends that are in the same business with us are making it big in life. They have bought several cars, fleet of them. We are here because we want to make money. We are suffering. We are tired of poverty. We want to make money. That is why we are here. And we believe this is the last center. Hmm. I'm going to go to the great the truth in a plain language while you are here. And what you want her to do for you? Great one. We are fraudsters. In fact, we are Yahoo Yahoo as a man. We don't have money. I personally, I have never cashed out in my life from my international clients. We are tired. And we want you to help us. As a matter of fact, we can do anything 
anything you want us to do just to make this money. Kevin! Great one. Are you willing to do whatever it takes to make money, like your friend said? Yes, great one. Then open your mouth and tell the greater dead. Because in this shrine, nobody speaks for anybody. <sighs> Great one, I want to make money, so much money, and I am willing to do whatever it takes to make that happen. Jude, are you also willing to do anything to make money, like your friend said? Yes, great one, my Oma, I am ready, I want to make money, I want to make it big in life. And I am willing to do anything that is required of me. Makane wono mnditi. Hmm. And so shall it be. Kevin. Great one. You will provide the head of anybody that was killed by an oracle to this great shrine within 14 days. Jude. You will sacrifice a maiden that is still a virgin to this great shrine within the same 14 days. Virgin? And after that, you will be blessed with endless wealth by the great shrine of Ezewai Minyadere of the seven seas and seven rivers. Wise one, what about me? What am I going to bring? You haven't called my name. Please call my name. Nelson, you don't have to bring anything. Because you are not destined to be blessed financially. Uh, please. Uh, wise one. Uh, please. You have to help me. Please. I cannot come this far and go back home broke. I single-handedly brought my friends here to make money. And now this, please, help me. What am I going to do? Eh? Because I have problems ahead of me. If I don't make this money, I will die. Anything you want me to do, I will. In fact, I must do it. I just want this money. Please, help me. My life will be useless without money. I need it. Because it's not everybody that is destined to be blessed financially. Blessings comes in different forms. But yours is not by having money or properties. I don't want to go back to this place. You have to help me. Please. I am suffering. I need money. Hmm. It will take all your life to change your destiny. 
Are you ready to exchange your life and live for only 10 years and then die? And you couldn't be buried in this shrine for what? Are you ready? Nelson, wait. Nelson. I mean, whatever it is that you've been through in life, you shouldn't have accepted to cut off your precious life short because of wealth. Kelvin, I don't owe anybody anything in this world. I only live for the people I love, which are my family. Listen, you don't know what I'm going through. And if you must know, this is the best decision I have made in my life. Nursing, are you sure you know what you're doing? I am 100% plus one sure. Nelson! Wait! No, not again. The same God that did it before, we do it again. When you look at the pizza, even more than before. Look at it, it's even more. That means my womb is permanently locked. Honey, I can attack myself at war again. So I am ready for war. I am ready to carry the battle to attack because I know the God I stand. Mama, please hang on for us. I don't want anything to happen to you. I've made a promise that. I must do everything within my powers to make sure that you're fine. And I also made a promise that I will fly you abroad for your kidney transplant. But please, stay strong for us. Stay strong for I and my sister. I am tired of seeing you go through pains. I am tired of seeing you sick. I am tired of seeing your tears. You've already done your best, my son. I, I will not die. I will hang on. I promise I will be alive for you and your sister. Yes. Mm. Tell me, how many times have I warned you to stay away from Kelvin? Listen to me. The next time I will say this again, you might end up in coma. I swear. Nelson, your sister, she's already an adult. She's old enough to keep male friends. You won't marry her. Uh, you should be happy. He's even dating your own childhood friend. Mama, tell him. He thinks I'm still a baby. 
That's the more reason I want you to stay away from Kevin. Listen, you're my sister and I want the best for you. You don't know what I mean. I know what I'm talking about. Stay away from Kevin. This period, even if you want to meet him some other time. But fine, this period, in the next 16, 17, let's just say three weeks time. Avoid him. I want the best for you. Okay? And I'm dead serious about it. Very good. Your sister, she's an adult. She's old enough to keep male friends. You want to marry her. And you should be happy that she's dating even your old friend. You must not threaten her relationship. Otherwise, you you chase her out totally. Or even make her become so bitter to herself. Which I don't want. I don't want to be gone. She's my son. Mama, I'm your son. I know what I am talking about. I want the best for this family. Please, let her just avoid Kevin in the next 17, 16 days. Total, three weeks. Um, Nelson, why this sudden development? I mean, you've never had problem with their relationship. Yeah? Please, my son. A lot has changed, Mama. She must stop seeing Kelvin. Please, I have never failed you before, and I will not start now. I beg you, all I need is just one week, just a week, and I promise you I will pay everything that we are owing in this hospital. I promise you, I will even double it. But please, my mother cannot die. We have to continue the treatment. And like you advised, I want to fly her out of this country so that she can process her kidney transplant. Please, you have to continue the treatment. All this will not work if you stop the treatment and dialysis. Help me. <sighs> now, Sin, I have done my best for you. And like I promised, I will continue to do my best for you and your mother. But I can only give you one week. Um, like you know, I'm just a doctor in this hospital. I am not the owner. And even if I'm the owner, we buy drugs that we give to her and we pay our workers. Doctor, I know. I know everything. That is why I'm begging you to give me just one week. Please. I will even double the money. You have to help me. You're a good doctor. Everybody knows you in this village. Please, Dr. Emeka Hughes, help me. Ah, I've heard you. But please, please, don't fail me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Doctor. God bless you. Stand up. Thank you. Stand Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. I will never fail you. God bless you, Doctor. All right. Thank you. You are welcome. Um, you are indeed a good child. You are a type of child every parent should pray to have. One eh, and one of them did it. And one of them did it. We are almost running out of time. Yet, 
We are not doing anything in providing what was required from us by Ezenwai. From the look of things, you see, Ezenwai wants us dead. Yes! Because how on earth does she expect us to provide all these things within this limited time? Where on earth will I get a virgin? Bah. I don't think so. I believe that both of us can provide this and more. Only if we can decide to work as a team and support each other. How do you mean? I'll tell you. I know about a girl that is 100% a virgin. And I'm ready to hand over to you. But, only if you can help me with the head of someone that was killed by an oracle. Because only me cannot go to the grave and dig it out and exhume the head of someone that was killed by an oracle. Mm. Trade by butter. Mm. How you see? <coughs> it's okay. If you keep to your promise and help me to provide this virgin, I will help you. Yes. In fact, I know of someone that was killed by a great oracle. A very strong one. The great Ijele. And I know where he was buried. I'm, I'm not talking about just anyhow oracle. The great Ijele, a very strong one, that the very first day I stepped my feet into his shrine, one day I went blind. Yes. He was the one that killed the person I'm talking about. The great Ijele even requested for his corpse to be buried in his shrine. But his parents played a fast one. They hurriedly buried the guy. But you know what happened? Tell me. <laughs> the great Ijele killed his father and his mother. Yes. So if you keep to your promise, I will personally take you to where they buried this guy. Jude, are you sure? <laughs> Do I look like a joker to you? I know what I'm talking about. Just keep to your promise. I will take you there. If, you see, if you want to go there tonight, I will take you there tonight and show you the place. For real? <laughs> yes. I know this guy so well. His name was Emenike. So if you keep to your promise, I will take you to where they buried him. Then it's settled. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we are rich already. <laughs> <laughs> we are made. <laughs> yeah. uh, just that um, I'm worried. I'm worried about Nelson. I mean, why would Nelson decide to exchange his life for wealth? I, I know Nelson to be a desperate human being, but I didn't actually see this coming. One day, Imaro Nelson of Uma. No. Nah. <laughs> In fact, I wasn't surprised when he took that decision. <laughs> but please, let's just forget about nursing and concentrate on our mega money that is coming. Let's just celebrate, you know? We are about to make it big, <laughs> big, big, big money. <laughs> One man, <day>, Zambia. <laughs> hey. My dear, we both know that my son has been acting strange right from birth. He walked before crawling and he started talking before six months, which is abnormal to me. Just the other day, he was sitting right there. I called him, son, can you help me with the remote? Because the remote was very close to him. This boy kept mute. He didn't say what to me. 
And I called him, son, get me that remote. The boy kept mute, saying nothing. And then I said, Junior, get me that remote. And then my son turned to me with a white substance round his eyes and said to me aggressively that his name is Ijele. <laughs> Ijele. Ijele. <laughs> Where did he get that kind of name from? But it was my father's son name, you know? And this boy, my son, looked at me eyeball to eyeball with a white substance around his eyes and said his name is Ejeli. You know, you know, when I was pregnant of my son, my late father used to tell me that my son belongs to him. Yes. But I just don't know. I have these feelings that my soul is possessed with my father's spirit. I don't know. Not just the spirit. It's your father reincarnated. And that is very dangerous. <laughs> you must do whatever you can to chase your father's spirit away from that child. I'm sure you don't want him to possess your child. But how of it? How, how do I go about this? Eh? <sighs> okay. Don't worry, I'll take you somewhere. And this case will be settled. Are you sure? Why not, I am? That would be better, ho. That would be better. Serious. Thank you. It's okay, it's okay. <sighs> At least I'm calm now. There's a solution. <laughs> you have to be eh? Thank you. It's okay, don't worry. Once we go to that place, everything will be settled. Stay away from Uzube and let today be your first and the last time I will see you anywhere close to him, not even in your dreams. You came all the way from Amoke Kingdom to tell the great daughter of Akatapa to stay away from a man that the gods personally choose for her. The gods cannot choose a man betrothed to the great Ojugo. Immediately I was born. Uzube is my husband, and I do not intend to share him with anybody, not even you. I will advise you to consult whichever ghost that told you that my husband, Uzube, is the chosen one for you. To tell you the truth.
stay away from Uzube. Stay away! Or you'll not wake up the next time you visit him in your dreams. I am done having him in my dreams. It is time to take him completely in real life. I am sure you know what awaits you or anyone that I see close to my chosen one. <laughs> Ma! She was still a servant in the spirit realm. I will destroy you and whosoever that sent you. <laughs> Not even you or anyone can stop me from having Uzube. As a one you walk on la la, when you shake like that. You make your enemies go down When you shake it Or you shake them When you shake it They must go down My Shakira, Shakira As a one you walk When you shake like that You make your enemies go down When you shake like that As a one you walk All your enemies All your traitors must go down on their nails and worship you. Yeah? Nobody can dare you as a one you walk on a lala. My Shakira Shakira. As a one you walk on a lala na moji. What are you doing here? The last time I came here, you witnessed the power of the Holy Ghost and what the God Himself can do. Stay away from my family. I want you to untie that wicked beat you invoke in the ways of my wife because I don't want to do it myself. <laughs> you are too young, weak and small to challenge the power of the Holy Ghost. I know every implication of what will happen if I should untie that beat myself. But as an in-law to this family, I wouldn't want to be responsible for the death of a father and a daughter. You and your Akatapa spirit to leave my family, my wife and I alone. Untie that evil bed from my wife and set her free. You brought war to this family. You kidnapped the daughter of the great Ijele. You killed my father right before my eyes. You and your wife must pay for it. You are the verge of destroying yourself. I want you to peacefully untie that bead from my wife's waist. But if you fail to do so, the next time I will come to this compound, you will not like me. I don't like you. I have never liked you, and I don't want to like you. And when you get home, tell your wife that the moment she opens her leg for you or any other man, she will die. You have drawn the battle line. Iha! Iha! As a one! Obubuaku! Na la la! As a one! 
Ovu mwako na moj my shakira shakira baba my shakira shakira baba basta mumwa meji mwoga ngela kwa meme bokanu iha them sudden death. He released them before. Let it not happen again. I am possessed with the spirit of Ichele and that of Ajari Goddess. No man, I repeat, no man born of a woman you cross my path and live to tell the story. Iha! As a one, Okuna Lala, no much. As a one, Okuna Lala, no much. As a one, Okuna Lala, no much. You born in life for your blessing, baby. My Shakira, Shakira. Paper in our mood, you're born in life for your blessing. Paper, as a one, you are my Shakira, Shakira. Paper in our mood, in my heart, now on your wallet, Baliam, one more gang, kill up for men, man, God has chosen him. Okay. God knows, God saw and knows uh, that he's the only child. And he, and he chose him to, to serve him. Why would I, why would I stand in the Then the God must be unfair. How can, how can God choose? Oh. The great Ojibu. Uh, this one you came, you didn't even inform us that we are coming. Greetings. Mama, the last daughter of Ijele has her eyes on my husband, Nzube. And it has been revealed to me in the spiritual realm that she will do whatsoever within her powers to have Nzube. Hmm. Not while I'm still alive. It will not happen. Hmm. She'll be here in any moment, accepting whatsoever she gives to lobby her way to this family. will be at your own risk. Ojugo, Ikusugo. Hmm. Oh, the great Ojuku. Come now. Come and sit down and explain this thing to me. Explain what to you? Explain what to you now. Oh, come and even drink water now and calm your nerves. Nay. Nay, have you seen the, 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 the problem you are causing this peaceful family? Have you seen it? A common native doctor walking into my home boldly and threatening to deal with anybody. Nay, have you seen it? When you went to pay breakfast on this stupid girl, you didn't consult me, oh. You didn't consult me. And of all the maidens in this whole community, the mm. beautiful maidens we have in this community, it is a native doctor. A native doctor. You went and, and paid breakfast for my son that you know is in, in seminary school now. Planning to become a priest who has no interest in getting married at all. And I. Go. 
Kumar. How would I have known that she was going to grow up to become a native doctor? Hmm. Uh, moreover, I didn't do anything to cause any problem. I was trying to make life easy for my son by paying for a maiden's bride price. Uh -huh. uh, so that, uh, you know, when he, when he grows up, he doesn't have to go through the stress of uh, looking for a girlfriend, paying bride price and that and that and that. I just, you just start the, the, the process. If you go see any, I don't know. If you go see any, you better go and tell this girl. <laughs> you better go and tell her that my son has no plan of getting married. And even if my son is going to get married, it will not be to a native doctor. He is going to marry to Mother Mary. Biko. Well, my own son will marry and give back to children the way I gave back to him. Hmm? Yes. Um, when he finishes his work, he will come out and marry. You understand? My own son, my only son, will not be a priest. Oh, nah, you better get that into <laughs> your head. Now nah, I can see that the goat, the chicken, the yam, all the things you're collecting from this little girl has gotten into your head. Let me tell you, my son has been chosen by God to serve him. His life is for God and God for him. He is not going to marry any native doctor. He's not even getting married. So it better return your, your, your chicken to them or Mogi said, don't say I did not warn you. Hoha. We all are serving God now. All of us, in fact, we have to use good and yam to serve God. So taking good and yam from people, that's the fringe benefit. Even if my son is going to marry, uh, even if at the end of the day, when he finishes seminary school, uh, he will decide not to be a priest. Uh, he will not marry a native doctor. Naomi, whatever happens in the future, you have to stay strong. Okay? Remember, since the death of our father, it has been pains, sorrows, agony. And now, our mother is very sick. You have to be strong for her. This is the time for us to focus, concentrate. And this is not the time for us to love or fall in love with anybody. Please, you must stop seeing Kelvin. I am your older brother. I know the best for you, and I want the best for you. You must stop seeing Kelvin, okay? Listen, I know you love him, but at least uh, this period, avoid him. I don't want you to go close to him, please. I know why I'm saying this, okay? Brother, I love Kelvin so much and I'm not sure I can do anything without Kelvin. Kelvin is not distracting me from my studies or taking care of Mama. Listen, I know what I'm saying, okay? You're my younger sister and I want the best for you. You will not understand. You have to face your studies now. Forget about any man for now. Please. Huh? Please, stay away from Kelvin. Kelvin is not the man you used to know. I can't lie to you. I can't deceive you. Remember, obedience is better than sacrifice. So listen to me. Okay, I've heard you. Fine. That's my sister. Um, take. Take this one. Huh? Use it. Take care of yourself. I'll be out of town in a few days and I'll come back, all right? So use this money very well until I come back, okay. all right? I'll see you. All right, um, go and be with her. Okay. Right. Catch you.
This is where they buried. Wait. We are not here to exhume it. I am only here to show you so as to clear your doubts. I believe you now. How personally start making plans on how to exhume the body and cut off the head. Plans without me? You don't have to worry yourself. I will help you out. I will assist you as long as you stick to our agreement. Jude, I'll keep to my words. You have nothing to worry about. She's yours already. I believe you. Thank you. you when you shake like that. You make your enemy go down. Oh, yeah, shake it, my Shakira. Oh, yeah, shake it, my Shakira. My Shakira, Shakira. It's the one you walk when you shake like that. You make the people go down. And the must go down when you shake it. Oh, yeah, shake them, my Shakira. Oh, yeah, shake it. Oh, yeah, shake it, my Shakira. Oh, yeah, shake it. Shakira, Shakira, as a one you walk, na la la. My Shakira, Shakira, as a one you walk, na la la. He hot, as a one you walk, na moj. My Shakira, Shakira, baby. My Shakira, Shakira, baby. He hot. As a man, Obu Waku in a lala. Oh, 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 This one you paid us a visit this early. Have we offended the gods in any way? No. Rather, the gods has favored your household. <laughs> How? Among all men in this village, both in and out, your son has been choosing to be my husband and no one can stop it. Ah. But, um, but uh, Ojugo is the one I chose for my son. I even paid her bright price months after she was born. That will never be a problem. I'm sure you can fulfill the bright price. Huh? It is not for you or anyone to stop or disagree whom the gods has chosen for the daughter of the great Akatawa. This decision has long been made in the spirit realm, and no one can stop it. This gold is for you and your household. I have sent some workers in your farm at Ichoku River. I don't want you or my mother-in-law to stress. Um, uh, the great one, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for the goat and uh, the yam. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You are welcome. I will keep checking on you people. I have my eyes on my husband. Okay. <laughs> As a one you walk on a lala in a mood, my Shakira, Shakira, you ha, say, make merriment. I blow, bottom budgy, rejoice, drink, and make merriment. You ha, as a one of walk on a lala, you ha, of walk on a lala, you ha. 
Are we not lucky? Look at good and yams. Nay. Nah. I am not that you're lucky with you. Huh? You see all these things? Huh? I am not interested in any of them. You better return it back to them, oh. Because Mwoge say it wa as it na ma wa aga wa. Okay. Me, I am interested. Uh, as a man, you come again tomorrow, eh? With more goats and yams. Yeah, um, can we, who is there? Nay. Nay. This is your greed. Who we'll put this family in trouble, oh? I'm still trying to deal with the fact that you went ahead and paid the Ojigo's bride price while she was still a baby. Now, is it ma? Okay. Ma can be sitting that she, she, she wants to marry her son. And instead of you to stand your ground as the man of this family and explain to her the situation on ground, letting her know that it's not going to be possible, you hurriedly, as if you've not seen a goat before, you hurriedly collected the goat from her. Now, you better return that goat to Otherwise, you will be the one to marry Ma, not my son. Mm. So, why didn't you, as my wife, help me to tell her before she left the compound? This baby is also your son. I did not tell her. And I cannot tell her. Mm. Because I have no business with her. Yes, mm. it is you that should tell her. After I didn't collect anything from her. Okay. Now, let me tell you. Mm. Let me tell you that there is nothing wrong with maidens, with great foresight, ambitious young maidens wanting to marry my son. Hey. You understand? There's nothing, I didn't say anything wrong in that. It shows that my son is a great man. That even in his absence, <laughs> two, two hefty native doctors are jostling for his attention. To marry him. Hey, you nai. Do, do your hand like this on your mouth. Um, for what? Nai, go put on our son, Mary. Did you call those ones ambitious? Are you calling them mere me, me, me maidens? We are not talking about mere maidens, nai. We are talking about native doctors. Um, um, why in Dibia? Um, why in Ago Sinanja? Um, why in Ago Moa? Why are you native doctors now? <laughs> what is wrong with a native doctor, you know, looking for a good life? Hey! Is anybody telling you that little daughters don't have feelings just like any other person? I can't see, Jay. Eh? You see, that's where you are wrong. They have feelings just like any other person. And they are free to express their feelings the way they want. And for the mere fact that they want to, you know, marry my son, show that my son is a great man. Hey! You understand? And I will keep having them for as long as they come. Nine. Yes. Biko. Biko. I beg you in the name of God. Okay. My son is going to become a reverend father. He will not. He cannot. And will never marry anybody. Well, that is not your office to say. It is not. You don't have the right to decide that. I does. The other mere fact that I allowed him to attend seminary school does not mean that he's going to come out to become a reverend father. Ha! You know, you see, when he finishes writing his wayek, you understand, he will come out to marry either Ojugo or Ma, hey. or possibly both of them. God forbid! As for yeah. the good, uh, you better start getting used to it because more and more are going to come <laughs> and I won't stop, you know, yeah. accepting them. Just yeah. Just yeah. Ah. I will never touch any unclean thing. In fact, my eyes will not even behold iniquity. Ah, Christian mother. All right. When the time comes, we will know. Marry, marry native doctors. Where do you put new wine? New wine into an old wine skin. My old wine skin. Eh? You cannot put a new wine inside an old wine skin. You cannot, there's no communication between light and darkness. My son is the light. Those native doctors are darkness and there's no business. He has no business with them. Kelvin, 
I don't like the idea of meeting on the road or you taking me to the hotel anytime I want to see you. Is that how we are going to be husband and wife? Kelvin, are you seeing someone else? Okay. What are you even saying? You know I'm not. And you know I'm not the problem. Your brother is the problem here. He doesn't want both of us to be together. But look, I'm going to fight it. Because I love you. Just let him know your intentions towards me. And I promise he's not going to disturb us. Okay, I've done that a thousand times, but he wouldn't listen to me. Look, I love you. And I promise to stay. Okay? He probably thinks you, you're taking advantage of me. I believe after this your business trip, everything is going to be alright. And you're going to pay my bright price as you promised. Okay. Thank you for believing in me. Come with me. We've been married for years. For years. No child to call our own. Now this this demonic beat is back to my waist. I wake up one morning, see my father lying next to me instead of my husband. Honey, this is, this is too much. I'm losing my cool. I don't think I can take this anymore. If something is not done, Honey. I don't think I can take it anymore. Honey, you will not. The Bible says that so may enjoy for the night. But joy cometh in the morning. It is not my battle. The battle is of the Lord. And he has already started fighting for me. But when will it end? When will the battle end, Johnny? I'm sick and tired. When is it going to end? Don't, honey. I have started praying about the situation. Sooner or later, God is going to answer us and save us from this situation. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I've done to my father and this shrine. Why this torture? Why these challenges? Why? What have I done to him? <laughs> the Egyptians you see today, you shall see no more. All you have to do is to just believe and have faith in the Lord. For very soon, he will deliver us from this bondage of the evil one. Just believe. This life is something else. 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 Jude, why they knock my door like that? You know if you come for four, see they call my kaba. Oh, bro, 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 leave that call matter. Leave that call matter. You know what's up now? Eh? A few days now, we are going to the shrine to present our sacrifices. I may never see the virgin. What's in the soap now? You to the worry. And my problem be that with you to the worry. I say relax now. You keep to your own part of the promise. And I'll keep mine. Just relax. I, I, I don't understand though. This virgin person that is see him. Look I see him now, come analyze him. What if we reach there, come pass out, say no be virgin? Jude, now me they tell you, say make you relax. Now me day here now. Now me open my mouth, tell you, say, I go help you with the virgin. You go relax. I know my plans, I know my games. Okay? Uh, I, I believe you. I believe you because you never disappoint me before. But you know my worries now. The worry based on 
you know the consequences if I don't provide them. See, one day. I'll keep to my own part of the promise. Just keep to your own part of the promise by helping me to exhume the body. And I'll fix it. Okay? But uh, listen, don't they bust my kappa like that. I don't like him. I don't like when my nigga they bust me like that for my kappa. <laughs> Guy, what did he worry you? Eh? Only when I did on a make call. But see why my no realize they do call. My guy, be bring food, make a chop, are you hungry? It's again, food. See, eh? when money come, we go chop. Eh? Wait now, when, when we make the money, I go buy you food. Eh? Food on the house. Oh. See this one, no? So if money come, now food, I go come ask you. One in a day, they drink things for house. Food. Hey, drink them, we drink them now. Sugar, day, granite, everything, you put them. Garnish them, we chop them. bring sugar and granite, come. Come drink them right now, that's how they do. I won't come drink, I'll drink sugar my, with my granite again. <laughs> now you do! Baba, small time we will make the money go chop and but right now, I'm a guy the drink. Ha! <laughs> we go chop that guy together. Wow! How did she know that this is my land? And what I want to plant it? And stop collecting cheap items from a maiden who truly knows her intentions. It is better for me to spend a short period of time in this world with my family smiling than to spend many years with them crying. The decision has been made and so shall it be.
great. Ijele. Sabbat of the great Akatakba. Nursing, I know it is too late for you to renege on your promise. <laughs> but trust me, I think it's better for you not to show up. I know you took that decision, Makaningon on Didi. But if you ask me, you are a strong and vibrant young man. Sacrificing your life for wealth shouldn't be the best decision for you to take at this age. Well, Jude, you need to worry about your sacrifice and let me worry about mine. And if you must know, I took the best decision. I cannot sacrifice another man's child all in the name of making money, putting their family in pains, in agony. It is better I sacrifice myself and I know in the next 10 years, I will achieve everything I want to achieve on earth. <clears throat> no. All I wanted was to make this money and enjoy it. Where do I even start from? The head of someone that was killed by an oracle. Jude, you have to help your brother. Kevin, what are you talking about? Why are you sounding like a comedian? I, I don't get it. I thought we had a deal. Oh, we had a deal now. Do you think it's that easy? A virgin? Virgin, that is village. Are you trying to threaten me? <laughs> See, my guy, if you're threatening me indirectly, you're threatening yourself. Because if you don't provide it and I don't do what I'm supposed to do, if our deal doesn't click, both of us will die. Then we die now. Well, well, I don't even know what deal you people are talking about. I don't even care. I told you guys initially, right? I told you. You guys were laughing at me. You told me I took the uh, a drastic decision, the worst decision on earth. But now, who is smiling last? And better. Huh? I told you the first shall be the last, and the last will be the first. I'm in the first. I'm the first man now. Both of you should get ready. Tomorrow is the day day. Tomorrow is the day set aside for riches, for wealth, for affluence. I am ready to sacrifice myself, enjoy my wealth, and die in the next 10 years. Both of you, how far? Hmm? Tomorrow is the day day. You haven't gotten your sacrifice. And you, you have not provided your sacrifice. How will you then smile at wet? How will you enjoy money? Eh? How will you come out and showcase yourself in front of your mates? When I start building mansions, taller mansions in this village, how will you come out and say, I am your, I was your friend? It doesn't sound well. Hmm? Get ready. In two days time, I will be called Nelson Too Much Money. 
Nelson Walete. Mm -hmm. In two years' time, I'll be living in wealth, affluence, riches. People will know me. People will see me. People will bow down to me. For ten years. I'm telling you. In that same two days' time, my mother will be flying to India for her medical checkup. And in that same two days, my sister will take another airline flying to Canada. My brother, everything on earth will happen in the next two days. And you are not ready to sacrifice. <laughs> I told you all. Huh? He who laughs last laughs best. Tomorrow, I'll be the biggest boss. In two days' time, I'll be swimming in money. Let me go home and arrange my then I must go back. Why are you both suffer? My sister is them who they brought some items to thank my son for healing them. <sighs> this is really getting serious. You see, I find it hard to live with a child that reminds me so much of my late father. I mean, he's a replica of my late father. Everything, his movements, his doings, everything reminds me of my late father. And he's making me so scared. Eh? My son is gradually growing to be Jilio. Don't worry about that one for now. Okay? Your son will grow up to become exactly who he wants him to be. Amen. He will Amen. go to school and he will be great in the nearest future. Amen. If not that that woman who left what he was supposed to do and started looking for a way to partner with Junior, we wouldn't have been here discussing this. <sighs> But there's one more place I would like us to go to. Yeah. We are again, Faith. We are again. A better place. And this time, Junior's case will be settled once and for all. Trust me. This is the last bus stop. Just hope so. It will. This place is a very nice place. It will be your last bus stop. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'm almost done. Because of money, you want to kill your sister. Because of money, you. Who is tampering with what belongs to Great Akataba? Whosoever that is touching what belongs to Great Akataba should be ready because he or she is beating the drum of war. Head. Thank you. Hey, wait. I have stick to our agreement. I have fulfilled your wish. Do not mess up with me. Because if you do, I will blow your brain off. Judge, calm down, okay? Your virgin is ready. And you shall bow down. Yes. I know why I'm saying this. Judge, drop the gun. I want to see the virgin girl tonight. You said it's ready, right? Yes. I want to see it tonight. Come with me. Drop the gun. Yes. Can I hold it?
lead the way. No, you lead the way. You want to play a smart one on me, right? Lead the way. Sometimes life can throw you off because of money. Uh, this life is full of mystery. Uh, a lot of strangers into this world. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, sometimes we don't know who is who and who we are dealing with. Oh. I can believe what I've seen with my eyes. Oh, oh, what you go. If you're living in this life, oh, you got to shine your eyes. Be careful the things you do. Just look before you leave. Oh, just be smart and take your shadow. Oh. I just look before you leave. Oh. Don't be smarter than your shadow. Oh, yeah. This life is something else. Oh, yeah. This life is something else. This life is something else. What a world. Why is Naomi not speaking her cause? I'm sure she is not with Kelvin at this critical time. Are you sure she's a virgin? She's a virgin. No, 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 no. We don't have time. We must leave now. There is no going back at this stage. But I promise the three of you that after today, none of you will ever share part with poverty again. Kevin! Where is your sacrifice? Bring it out.
Your soul! Now belongs to the great Adere. Everything you touch will be fruitful. And abundant wealth is already in your possession. Nothing will hurt you. Knife will not pierce your skin. And gun cannot kill you. Your enemies will gather for you in vain. And anywhere your name is mentioned with the intention to hurt you, the great Adele of the seven seas and seven rivers will be there to guide and protect you. Go! And enjoy your words from the great altar of Adele. God that accepted what belongs to the great shrine of Akatakwa. Who are you? Who are you that has refused to reveal yourself to me? Your identity must be revealed to me tonight and get ready to vomit everything that you have eaten without asking questions. your life, body, spirit, and soul, in exchange for wealth that knows no bound. Adere! Nukoye ye mano woye! Flourishing! With abundant wealth that knows no bound. As he made this greatest sacrifice of his life in your shrine to do. May he be richer than all his mates! Where he stands! Let no other stand closer. May his burden be loud, even without him saying a word. And in these remaining years he will spend on this earth, grant him all his heart desires. Your virgin sacrifice. She is still in the car. It's time to present her to the great Adere. She's still a virgin. 
and her body, spirit, and soul has been accepted by the great Adere. Uremma, untie her. my sister here. Jude, can you talk to me? This is the first time I'm seeing her face. It, it, it was Kevin that helped me in, in providing the sacrifice. I swear this is the first time I'm seeing her. Kevin. Why? My sister. Kevin, why? My sister, Jude helped me with the head. And I had to help him with the virgin like I promised. And she happens to be the only virgin I could provide. You know the implication if I don't provide the, the sacrifice. I, I don't want to die. I'm sorry. We, we all have to. We can't fail. Come, come down, okay? Please, please, great one. You have to help me, please. She is the only sister I have. She is the only one I live for. She and my sick mom. Please, I am actually sacrificing my life to better their life. Please, you have to help me. Bring her back to life and take my life. I don't want to do it again. Please, bring her back to life. There is nothing I or anybody can do about it. The sacrifice has been made and her body, spirit and soul has been accepted by the great Adere. You have to live with it, like Kevin said. Go and enjoy your work. Never! Never! Please! Please, please, please. Adere, wise one. Is it mine? Get one! Everything you have! Help me! She is the only one I have! She is my sister! Please! Take my life and bring her back to life! My life is useless without her and my mother! Bring her! Please, I beg you! I beg you! It is too late to do that! All your requests has been granted and all of you are now worthy and protected by the great shrine of Ezewai Minyadare of the seven seas and seven rivers. Go and enjoy your wealth. Do I hear? Oh no! What am I doing here? Hey! No! Wise one, please bring him back to life. Please. He's not dead. I only gave him the reju. He will sleep for days and then wakes up. Nobody fights in the presence of Adere. Go and enjoy your words. He will join you people when he wakes up. Just sit down, please. My son has pleaded with your son uncountable times, and he told me that he beat him out of anger. And your son pointed at him and asked him to go blind. Look at him. And instantly, my son got blind immediately. Please. We've been neighbors for years now, and you don't know me as a troublesome person. Please plead with your son to restore open our sight. Be gone. It's okay, um, I heard everything. I mean, the news is everywhere. 
But the truth is, my son has refused to speak to me or any person. I must confess to you, I'm scared because I've never seen my son in such mood before. Neither have I seen him hurt anyone. But, don't worry. Hmm? I promise you, I'll speak with him and your son's sight will be restored. No go. Papa, Papa. Who's what? Papa, you are blessed. <laughs> you are welcome, Mom. Yes, Papa. Uh, Papa, you are looking good. Huh? Just like before. <laughs> what of Mama? Oh, your mother went to the market too. Oh. Mm -hmm. She says she wants to go and buy a few things. Oh, oh Papa. Welcome. That's nice. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, um, Uzube, you are already wearing this white castle like uh, a priest. <laughs> Papa, Papa, I am still a seminarian now. <laughs> uh, but um, you know, it will take a long way for me to be ordained a priest. Uh, you know, I, I, I will still get there one day, but for now, I still have so many apostolic work to do. I still have to go through philosophy and theological, you know, to become a priest officially. But before that, we are still serving the Lord. <laughs> yes, Papa. You, you truly want to become a priest as well? Papa, you always ask me this question over the phone. And you already know the answer. I don't know. Papa, let's just go inside, okay? Mm. I was going to somewhere, but then... Not native one at that. Where did you learn all this from? He has two days to provide all these items, else he will forever be blind. Yeah. No one beats the great Ijel and goes cut free. You don't have time. You have less than two days to buy these items. Else, your son might not be able to recover his sight again. Let me quickly go and get it before it gets dark. Um, wait, before you go, I want to thank you for how you handled this issue by not involving the police. Okay, thank you so very much. I believe your son will regain his sight. Okay, I'm coming. I have something for you. Yes, This 
say it's 5,000 naira. Okay, I want you to take it and add to whatever you want to buy. Thank you, ma. Let me quickly go before it gets dark. It's okay. Thank I, you, I'm, I'm so confused. I don't know. My son has rapidly turned into a nightmare to other kids and it's getting me worried. But it's fine. Just hurry up, man. Thank you, ma. Let me quickly go before I get dark. Thank you. Papa, though it sounds funny, but why am I just hearing this for the first time? Oh. What well, you are hearing for the first time because uh, your mother doesn't want you to hear about that. She wants you to become a priest by all means. Odrugo was betrothed to you very early in life, and now Mama wants you to marry her. Anyhow, in fact, there is war hovering in her family. But um, if you ask me, I will suggest that you marry the two native doctors. You know, for peace to reign. Hmm. Now, you will not cease to amaze me. You will not cease to amaze me. Just listen to yourself. Listen to yourself telling your own son, your own son that is a seminarian, to, 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 to marry, not just to marry, but to marry two native doctors. Someone that will very soon become a priest. Eh? I did not discuss with you or anybody for that matter that my son is going to be a priest. My only son will not be a priest. Yes. Neither is he going to marry anyone. In fact, he will, he will not marry he will not marry the two native uh, doctors. He will not marry them. I know it's the things you have been collecting from them that is holding you, is already holding your neck. You don't know how to vomit it. You better return all the palliative you have been, you have been collecting from Ojugo. You collect from Ojugo. You collect from Oma. You'll be eating. You'll be collecting even the ones you're hiding. It's time. Your time is up. Better return it to them. Oh, because you see me more than ever. I come out of here. Ho ha. My son is going to become a priest, so allow him to follow the path of the, of, of, of the Lord. Okay. Papa, yes. don't worry about what you go on, Amma. I can handle them. That's yeah. my son. That is my son. I know you can handle them. Uh, what is it? Don't mind your mother. Uh, even though you are wearing you are still a man. Keep dreaming. Mama, it's okay. I knew the great Akatakwa will reveal to me everybody that has a hand in assuming the body of Imenike and the shrine that gave them cover and protection. Adere, you have traded on the path of destruction and you shall pay with your blood for conspiracy and accepting the food preserved for the great Akatagba. I shall pay you a warm visit. Iha! As a man! Obukwakunalala! When you shake like that! You make the enemies go down. Or you shake them, they must go down. When you shake them, the enemies must go down. My Shakira, or you shake them. When you shake like that, you make the enemies go down. Or you shake them, my Shakira. Shake them, they must go down, baby. Yeah. Let's go, Paper. 
How are you, Ma? I'm fine. How are you too? I'm fine. Won't you offer me a seat? Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, all right. What do I offer you? Water. You mean I should offer you water? Of course, just water will do. Eh. Yeah. I'll also give you a chicken if you care for. <laughs> Ma, don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with the water. My father told me you always come to the house looking for me. Yes, and I am happy you are here now. Oh. It's like you manage your father's shrine now. Oh, yes. I also heard that you want to be a priest. Yes. Uh, I, I, I don't want you to. Why? Because we are getting married. Like I told your father, you are the only one choosing for me. Ma, that is exactly why I'm here. At least we'll start by being friends. Um, please, do you mind dropping that stuff you're holding in your hand when next you're coming? Oh, you mean my rosary? Yes. Ma, what you request of me is like asking you to leave your offer at home or in the shrine before going out. If we must be friends, we must learn to accept each other and their beliefs. Alright? Okay. Seriously, I must confess. You are the only one outside my family to accept water from me. <laughs> Ma, the next time I come, I will eat food. You mean you eat food that I will prepare? <laughs> Ma, I will not only eat food, but I will help you in making the food. Huh? Yes. Wait. Are you not scared of me? <laughs> Ma, there is nothing to be afraid of. Everything I see in this shrine was created by God Almighty whom I serve. So you see, nothing to be afraid of.
Should I take him again to another native doctor or to a church? I think I know what to do. The great is in wire. My friend has been sleeping for four days. Is there not something you can do to wake him up? Please. <laughs> he will wake up after sleeping for seven days. I can see that you are worried. But you don't have any reason to be at all. He's home, so don't bother yourself. Yes, they want him to not there. Who no no care 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 much to not there. Ha, police no more. I there at fire mo. Me I have to make record no money. How can I have to go to work? How can I carry my tan? I can't get sun. My sister want to carry her. Want to carry her. Kine no money. He just go Kenya go. Pablo. Boss man. Bright. The boss. War is coming. I can feel it. I want you guys to mobilize more men. Yes. I mean, men that can kill without remorse. Mobilize them for me. Makani wono mundidi. Your face should, you should shine. I can smell blood. And I am ready for it. I'm happy you came to see me. I must confess, you look good. Though, I'm not comfortable with the white garment you're putting on. Huh. Ojugu, you need to get used to these garments. Especially now that we're friends. If you say so. Yes. So, tell me, when are you coming to take me as your wife? Ojugo, I am a seminarian and I will be a priest someday. I am never going to get married. I've been waiting for you all my life to come and take me home as your wife. You must give up the dreams of becoming a priest. Your father had already prayed my bride price on your behalf. Ojugo. I have chosen the path of God. I am sorry my father paid your diary, making your family and you believe that I will marry you someday. And that is why I am here to tell you that I will become a priest someday. And I will never get married. So I want you to move on with your life. But that doesn't stop us from being friends. <laughs> Nzibe, I command respect. In and outside this kingdom, I've never walked past any man without him admiring me, not even the blind. But here I am, offering my soul and body, and you are turning me down. Tell me, are you refusing to marry me because of an easy why or someone made you to do so? Nobody asked me not to marry you. Neither do I hate you because you serve a different God from mine. Ojugo. 
I am a seminarian. And like I told you before, I will become a priest someday. I will never get married. And I don't want to deceive you or cajole you into believing I will marry you someday because it will never happen. That is what I came to tell you. He, he will indeed wake up heartbroken and angry. So we are here yesterday and we made it clear to you that our boss is not around. Now you are back, blocking the main entrance of the compound. Please, will you take this car out of this place or, or what will happen? Or I'll be forced to move you and this your car out of this compound this minute. Both of you know that that can never happen. Now you two fools, listen to me. I want both of you to go in there and tell Jude that Kelvin is here to see him. Tell him I will move an inch out of this gate and nobody will move out of this compound. Do you understand that? Get out! Bright. Boss. Who are those lunatics making noise in front of my gate? It's your friend, Kelvin. He's back today. Kelvin. Yes, boss. Let him in. Okay, boss. Let me know why he has been insisting on seeing me. Okay, boss. Okay. Kevin. I remember when we were broke. I came to your house. And you said I should at least call you before coming to your house. Look at it today. What is happening? You came to my house without calling me on the phone. You came to my house, my gate, and you were just shouting and ranting. For over something you caused? Something that was your fault. You should have at least told me that the gear you provided for the sacrifice was necessary. What is different? Would that make? Tell me, Jude. You needed a virgin, and I helped you with one. And all you could do to protect yourself with some talks? When our only friend is lying out dead at the shrine? Be remorseful, Jude. 
You can't come to my house. I'm shouting at me, bro. Yes. And I will advise you to do the same. Because once he bows back, trust me, he's coming for you. Not just for you, he is coming for us. Wait, wait. Look at you. Why are you acting innocent? Saint Kevin, right? Whoa, oh, you're not a saint. Can you hear yourself? You provided the same gear you claim you love. The gear you were about to get married to. You just provided it just like that. And that same girl is the only reason why you're rich. The gear you wanted to get married to. You were so heartless, bro. Can you hear yourself? Let me tell you something. You are my friend. And I will advise you to do the same. Protect yourself. Because very soon we are facing war. Nelson will come for us. He will haunt us. That is why I had to guard up myself. I provided security everywhere. My brother, you have to do the same. Think! This life is something else. This life is something Think like a man, Kevin. Think! As for me, I will do anything to protect myself and my family. Think, Kevin, think! Madam, take this man out of my temple. Yeah. I have not prayed for him. What I am seeing here is an old man with a grey hair. Take him out of my temple now. Take him to his shrine where he rightfully belongs and no peace. I'm sorry, prophetess. Are you sure you have the proper side? This is a small boy. Mm. Which one is old man and grey hair? How? Oh, holy! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Holy! Let's go. We are going, we are going. We are going. We are going. We are going. No, holy, holy, we are going. Jehovah, holy, holy, holy. Honey, if you truly love her as your sister, I want you to peacefully tell her to have a rethink. She should leave my family alone. Else, I and my prayer warriors will stop that village. Hmm. And you know what that means. Obimbiko. Please, hmm? take it easy, huh? Picon, your last visit resulted in my father's death. And the elders are here to forgive you because of that. I do not want to lose my younger sister in the same way. I know he's paining you right now, he's even paining everyone. But please, let's resolve this peacefully. Uncountable times. How many times have I tried to resolve it? But it seems that your younger sister is more stubborn than your late father. Yes, she is. Tell her to come and redo whatever she has done to you. Let her come to this place and remove this bead from your waist. Oh, I will do it myself. And if I do so, you know the consequences. Obin, please. You and I know that removing the bead from my waist is going to cost her her life. I do not want my younger sister to die. Please. Please, Pico. Okay, you know what? Let me go there one more time. Yes, one more time. Please. One more time. Because if she fails to do the needful, <laughs> she will test the power of the Holy Spirit of God. One more time. Get 
ide ala 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 nwam ala umbere na yuru dike na bu na bere de be ja manu dike na se na su kwara mu guni bu dike You are a seminarian. You are not supposed to be seen with women. Not even to talk about all those uh, um, is it wine. You are the light and they are darkness. Bible says there's no communication between light and darkness. That is where you get it all wrong, Mama. Even Christ spent most of his life with sinners. Mama, the best way to preach repentance to sinners is by being friends with them. Besides, I don't see what's anything wrong from what man or Jugo are doing except from worshipping idol. Oh, so worshipping idol is not bad enough. Even when the Bible says that we should not touch the unclean things. <sighs> Mama, it may be bad to you because you're a Christian, but it doesn't look bad to them at all. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Ma and Ojugo are now my friends. And with time, they will start seeing things from my own perspective. And when that happens, they will accept Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. Mama, you see, you don't discriminate. You don't force people to believe in what you believe in. Or hate people because of their choice of belief. All of us are created by God Almighty. And even the idols was created by God. I heard you went to Ojugo's house and boldly told her that you are not going to marry her because of your dreams of becoming a priest. Yes, Papa, I had to. I don't have to keep her in the dark. She needs to know her faith, Papa. Especially when you have already paid her bride price without my consent, even when I couldn't speak for myself. Papa, it's no longer news that I have chosen to serve the Lord. Yes, it is happening. And I want you to please accept it. But I didn't discuss that with you, or with anybody for that matter. You are my only son, and I want you to marry wives and bear me as many grandchildren as you can produce. Chew that while you discuss with your mother. I am off to bed. At the mention of the name, every name must bow. There is power in the eyes. Good night, Papa. Good night. All power belongs to God. I see reasons with you. All power belongs to him. I know. You will become a priest very soon. Look, you have my full support. Okay? The only problem I have is these two women. Or Jugo and Ma. They are the only problems I have. But why can't they just let you be? Why are you of all the young men in this community? Huh? That is because the Lord I serve wants to use me to save them. Don't worry yourself, Mama. Mm -hmm. The Lord is in control. Vanity upon vanity. Vanity upon vanity. Vanity upon vanity. Vanity upon vanity. If any man, hey, yeah. Doctor! 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 Nepsi, Doctor. Yeah. Doctor. Where is my mother? Nepsi. Calm down. Okay. Where have you been? Doctor, please. 
Answer me this question. Where is my mother? This is not what we discussed. Stand there. Let's go to my office. That's what? For the very last time! Where is my mother? Nelson, calm down. Your mother. Your mother died two days ago. Nelson, calm down. I try reaching you or your sister, but to no avail. You are a corpse. I deposited her body in the mortuary. Hey, just calm down. Hmm? I want to see my mother's corpse. Sure. Come with me. If any man. Everything you could to save her. But this time, you need to be strong for yourself and your sister. Hmm? Huh? Be yeah, a man. Hmm. My mother died because I was busy sleeping. Sleeping. I was sleeping. Sleeping for seven days? Uh, anyway, when are you coming to take her cups? Because I only paid for 10 days. Doctor, uh, first of all, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, Dr. Hughes. You're a good man. You're welcome. Yes, like I promised, I will pay you whatever you spent on my mother. I will double it. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hmm? Who did this to Ajulaka, the great god of thunder? Who invaded my shrine and did all this without his or her corpse lying down here in my shrine? Hey, Jobushi, who did this to you?
can you imagine? Eh? What could you have done without her? Uh, without the woman? <laughs> eh? She did not only promise to clear the land. Then by making it ready for cultivation. Hey, this girl has tried though. Wonderfully I'm, well. I'm, I'm even shocked. <laughs> Me too. Ah, Me too. She did a great work here. Look at everywhere. <laughs> now, hmm? now, what are you going to do about Ojugo? Ojugo, you paid her bright price while she was still a baby. What are you going to do now? Now that you are collecting all the things Umba is bringing and you are smiling. See your beautiful Tito. You are opening your teeth now because of a farmland. Um, you see, I think uh, your new name now should be Killjoy. Killer of joy. Now that you see me smiling, you want to bring something that will make the smile disappear from my face. Eh? Why are you always worrying about things that are past? Eh? Why are you always thinking of negative things when we are supposed to be looking ahead, looking to, to being positive? <laughs> you understand? You see, the thing is that you, you always go negative when you're supposed to be going positive. Look, Ojugo is a captivating woman. Hmm. In fact, she has magical power. Native doctor. She has a lot of powers. She can catch any other man she wants for herself. You understand? Oh. I, as far as well, all this was, I mean, they benefited us at the point it did, and um, let us move ahead. Forget about her. Eh? Nani, I don't understand. If I did not know your family very well, I would have thought that your family lineage, there is, a, there is robbery in your family lineage. You because you are always after yourself. You are so greedy. You are always after yourself, 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 yourself. What about my son? Eh? What about my son that is in seminary school? That is planning to become a priest. What about the way he feels? I, do, I know your family very well. You go out. Hey! Nay, what I, is it? I can't. My eyes. My eyes. Hey! hey. My eyes. My eyes. Hey! This hey. is the price we pay for playing with my heart and pride. <laughs> uh, hey, 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 Ojugo, 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 why did you do this? I can't see. Ojugo, you should have allowed me to explain before you, hey. you take action. Hey. Hey, where do we come from here? I don't know. We have, huh? we have, we have entered the, 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 the league of the body, is, is, so the voice is Jacob. Can you, hey. can you see at all? How do you find our way? Hey. I want you to stop touching and clean things. Oh, you didn't listen to me. Stop thinking about that. Why are you always talking about what I am I'm holding you to how, how do we go? Hey, I'm out from home. Okay, see what I'm going to do. Mm. I, I can see from the side. Uh -huh. right? Okay, hold my trousers. Uh -huh. Okay, Jimmy. If you miss it, you miss it. Oh, Chibeke. Uh -huh. like nah. Oh, touch that or clean thing. Oh, all this is I'm holding. Oh, all this is I'm holding. Oh. All this is I'm holding. How are you going to do it? Which one are you holding? No, somebody will pass what are you holding? What do I offer you? Water. You, you mean I should offer you water? Of course, just water will do. Mm. Yeah. What do I offer you? Water. You mean I should offer you water? Of course, just water will do. Mm. Yeah. I'll also give you a chicken if you care for. <laughs> Ma, don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with the water. My father told me you always come to the house looking for me. Yes, and I am happy you are here now. Oh. It's like you manage your father's shrine now. Oh, yes. I also heard that you want to be a priest. Yes. Uh, I, I, I don't want you to. Why? Because we are getting married. 
Like I told your father, you are the only one choosing for me. Ma, that is exactly why I'm here. At least we'll start by being friends. Um, please, do you mind dropping that stuff you're holding in your hand when next you're coming? Oh, you mean my rosary? Yes. <laughs> Ma, what you request of me is like asking you to leave your offer at home or in the shrine before going out. If we must be friends, we must learn to accept each other and their beliefs. All right? Okay. Seriously, I must confess. You are the only one outside my family to accept water from me. <laughs> Ma, the next time I come, I will eat food. You mean you eat food that I will prepare? <laughs> Ma, I will not only eat food, but I will help you in making the food. Huh? Yes. Wait. Are you not scared of me? <laughs> Ma, there's nothing to be afraid of. Everything I see in this shrine was created by God Almighty whom I serve. So you see, nothing to be afraid of. Papa, what happened? Hmm. My son, I was working in the farm with your mother. Hmm? Odrugu came and made us blind because she said she couldn't have you as a husband. Nzube. Nzube, mom. Mama, I'm here. Nzube, see, it is your father's fault, oh. Huh? When your father was busy collecting all the all the goats, all, all the chicken and yam from mama, I, I won I won him all, but he wouldn't listen. Now, now look at it. In my, in my, you know my family lineage. There's no blind person. What kind of a thing is this? Now, what kind of a thing is this? It's your father's fault, oh. Uh, hmm. Now I know what you are thinking towards me. Did I, did, did I rob them? Is that all? It is you now. It is you. My son, that is all. No? It is your fault. That is all. I, uh, we are innocent. What did I do? Somebody brought a gift. Will I say no? Hmm. They brought gift to me for being a reverend father's father. Mm. And I collected. What what wrong with that? Do you know? Do you know your father was even uh, telling me that uh, you 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 will marry two two native doctors. He knows now. Mm, that's what he said. Is that all? That is all, my son. That is all. That is all. Nzibe, 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 mom. Mama, mama, yeah. don't worry. I'm here. Yeah. Um, Papa, mm -hmm. I will go and see your Jugo and hear from her first. Then Please. I will figure out what to do. Please do whatever you can do. Do because Chipume, I cannot remain blind for a long time. Huh? It's okay, Mama. Don't worry yourself. Oh, oh no. It is well with oh, you. Oh, oh. I'm coming, okay? Amen. Oh, yeah. Um, Biko Badanya, oh. It's okay. Um, hey, Bobby. Yeah? Take care of my brother. I will. I will take care my of son, you. My son, are you going? Baba? Badanya, oh. Okay. Hey, Bobby. No, don't mind hey, it. Hey, don't mind your mother. You see, see even, even the Bible said that the soul that seen it shall die. Uh, that, uh, uh, what I say? Did I do anything bad? I didn't commit any crime. Mm -hmm. I didn't rob them. I didn't steal from them. They brought sacrifice to me as being uh, the father to a reverend father, and I only wholeheartedly collected. Le, 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 no. I didn't so, say come it, again. I will collect. What are you talking about? You are saying you are going to collect. Hey, I wish Isabel was here. Isabel, come here. What your father is saying, you know, that he wants to collect another offering. I mean, hey, it's okay. Okay. It's okay. Hey, Bubi. Hey, Mama. Hey, Bubi. Let's yeah. go inside. Eh, yeah. 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 no, no, no. leave my husband. Don't, don't allow him to follow us. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up your mouth! Fool! Idiot! You both are here enjoying yourselves, living large on top of the blood of my virgin sister. You are living large on top another person's blood. Parents of this generation, I beat you all. You are a bunch of disgrace and disappointment. Your son. All of a sudden, metamorphosed and became rich, wealthy, 
and you didn't deem it fit to ask him how he made his money. Huh? What kind of a father are you? Well, listen to me. Listen to me! I'm not here to talk too much. Like I said before, Nelson too much money is not the Nelson of yesterday. Now, I am Nelson Wale. You all are busy enjoying my sister's money. I will shoot you. I will kill you here and right now. Sir, please, man. Can, can we sort this thing amicably? At least give my father the opportunity of asking my other brother what happened. Look on the I You are his younger brother. You are the younger brother. And you are enjoying yourself. All of a sudden, you have money in your account. And you didn't ask your brother, your useless brother, how he made it. A poverty stricken idiot! And you're telling me to give him time. I should give you time to call him and ask him what happened. You think I'm here to play? You think I'm here to play games? Huh? Now listen to me and listen way good. I will kill you. Yeah. And not just you. I know your sister in the university. She's studying economics. She will die without being economized. Fool! Did you ask your brother to call me and tell me that he wants to use my sister for sacrifice? Did you tell your brother to call him? No. Did you tell your stupid brother to call my mother and ask her before she used my sister for sacrifice? Did you ask him? Rest in peace. I'll see you in the next 10 years. Please, please, my son, don't kill me. Please, my son, don't kill me. Shut up! Shut your mouth up. It's my time, it's a life. I can throw you off because of money. And this life is full of misery. A lot of strangers into this world. Oh, no, no, no. Sometimes we don't know who is who and who we are dealing with. Oh, I can't believe what I've seen with my eyes. Oh, oh what I did I'm confused as we speak. And if I tell you I'm not afraid of my son, then call me a liar. The other day, I woke up from sleep and I saw my son staring at me. I was forced to ask him that why was he looking at me without blinking? And then he told me that I should take him to the village that he wants to worship my father's shrine. <laughs> she not told you that? He did. When he said that, I now remember that my father used to tell me that my son belongs to him. And since MDK did not pay my bride price, that son is his. I'm afraid, I'm, I'm afraid, I'm very sure my father's spirit must have possessed my son. And if I do not take him to the village, he might harm me. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm just scared. See, you must not succumb to that pressure of taking him back to the village. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to lose your child, Chukwaju. I mean, my child. even if he wants to be a native doctor, we can package him. And that requires him going to school. Right? I'm sure you don't want your child staying back in the village harvesting herbs like one detonated dog. Oh, no, God forbid. The question now is what do we do? I'm confused. Imagine me, I'm afraid of my own son. Ha. Honestly, at this point, I don't know what we should do. 
But like I said, don't succumb to that pressure of taking him to the village. Don't! You should always come up with an excuse why you should not take him back to the village. Always. This one you said makes sense. Um, I think that's what I would do. I won't take him to the village. Your soap is not hey God. I can't be afraid of my own soap. It's okay. Yeah. Turn of the name. Every name must bow. There's power in prayers. Prayer is the key. All power belongs to God. All power belongs to Him. There's power in the prayer. Prayer is the key. The name Ojuga was coming to see you. You have till tomorrow to restore my parents' sight, or you will face the wrath of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> if the so called Holy Ghost is that powerful, then he should restore the sight of your parents instead of looking for who to destroy. He will restore it tomorrow, or you go if you fail to. But you will face the consequences of afflicting pains on the children of God. You did not give my parents sight, so you have no right to take them. Restore their sight or have the power of the Holy Ghost to face. <laughs> I would like to see the power of the Holy Ghost that is giving you and your parents the gas to play with my feelings. Oh, Jugo, no one is playing with your emotions. And like I told you before, I will never marry you. All right? Quit coming for me, or Jugo, and do the need for. <laughs> I would have strike you dead, if not for the love I still have for you. As for your greedy father and your deceitful mother, would not see with a sight again, not while I'm still alive. <laughs> oh, Jugo. Ojugo! Ojugo! You have till tomorrow to undo what you did, or you will regret it. Dominion. Sir? Where is your mother? My mom is here, sir. And where is your father? My father went out. How are you, boy? You good, right? The fire. I'm finished. Jude, I am finished. God! What is that thing? Nelson. Nelson is killing every member of my family and we must stop him. What? Who, who told you that? He's already killed my father and my mother. And the information reaching to me is that once he's done killing them, he'll be going after your own family too. And we must stop this guy. We cannot stop nursing. Especially now that he has nothing to lose. You think. Come on, brother, think. Look, if we can't stop him, then we can put him back to sleep. Yes, 
I mean, I'm yet to enjoy this morning. I can't die now. Then, we must pay Ezewai another visit. She's the only one that can put him to sleep. Why he's asleep? We kill him. Because nothing is too dangerous to be alive. We must just do something. Let's just do something. Hello? What? Who was that? He just killed my mother. Oh, not again. We must stop this guy. Look, we must stop him now. Holy Ghost fire, begin to torment that mad spirit, that little girl of mine, destroy her, torment her, destroy her shrine, destroy her shrine, all you have to my shrine, mad spirit, I destroy you, I bind you with the Holy Ghost fire, I destroy you with the Holy Ghost fire, I destroy you, stop, stop, stop it, I don't like it when you bind and cast a member of my family, is it that you cannot pray for my deliverance? Instead of sending Holy Ghost fire to destroy the members of my family? Where is your heart? The same Holy Ghost fire that struck my father dead is the same Holy Ghost fire you're sending to my younger sister, my only younger sister. Do you want to kill her? She tied the womb of my wife with her evil bitch. I want you to have her think and losing that bead in your waist. She will never have peace of mind. I will keep sending the fire of the Holy Ghost to destroy her and all her evil plans towards my family. And I've told you times without number that you should allow me to resolve this peacefully. Please. She is my younger sister. Okay? Please, uh, stop sending Holy Ghost fire to strike my sister dead. I don't like it. You have always taught me from handling this situation radically. But let me tell you, your sister, Ma, is very stubborn and has the heart of a stone. If you think she woke up one day and losing this bitch she tied in your waist, then you are lying. It is better you allow me to use the fire of the Holy Ghost to torment her and set you free. No! I repeat, no! Please. I'm going to the village to make peace with my sister. Until then, stop sending Holy Ghost fire to strike my sister. Are you done praying? Yes. Rapata Shadala! Rege Shadala! Who are you? I had everything you discussed with your friend Fate. Tell her if she values her existence, never to come here and pack notes in my eating. Else I will turn her into a lizard that will be monitoring my back here. I do not want to hear any excuse again why you can't take me to the village.
she's just jealous because we are friends. And she didn't know who to unleash her anger on, but my parents. But I've given her to you today to restore their sights, or she will feel the power of the Holy Ghost. You mean you told her you go that face to face? Yes, I did. Uh, and who is this Holy Ghost that is giving you the gods to confront Ojugo? He is stronger and bigger than all the powers in the whole universe. And even your God <laughs> bows <laughs> to him. <laughs> you must be drunk. Yes, but by the power of the Holy Ghost. And I think it is time for you to leave all this primitive God and serve the true living God. Ma, you are a beautiful young lady, full of life and potentials. You cannot continue to be worshipping idols all your life. I think it is time to turn a new leaf. Worship the true living God so that you will have life and eternal rest. So you mean I should leave the great Akatawa? The ugliest God that got married to the most beautiful goddess. The deaf and dumb God that speaks for other gods. The blind God that sees for other gods. Are you kidding me? By the way, who even told you that I'm stressed? You don't need to tell me. It's written all over you. Just look at yourself in the mirror and you will see how much. This ugliest God, like you call it, has taken from you. Ma, you need total liberation. And only the Son of Man can liberate you. Wait, so your God is even a Son of Man? <laughs> so, why are you still waiting for Jugo to come and restore your parents' sight? Life and death is in his hand, oh. Life and death is in his hand, oh. He's the owner of our life, oh, yeah. Don't joke with the power of God, oh, yeah, yeah. Don't play with the power of God, oh, na, 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 na. Don't joke with the power of God, oh, yeah, yeah. Don't play with the power of God. Oh, na 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 na. At the mention of the name, every name must bow. There is power in prayers. Prayer is the key. All power belongs to God. All power belongs to Him. There is power in the prayer. Prayer is the key. The name of the Lord is above other names every other god is a man-made god there's power in prayer power of the lord is the light of the world don't joke with the power of god oh yeah yeah don't play with the power of god oh na 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 don't joke with the power of God, oh yeah, yeah. Don't play with the power of God, oh na 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 na. And the mention of the name.
There is nothing the Great Adere can do your case now. Because the girls are completely blind, deaf and dumb. And her hands tied to her back. Great one. We are not asking for something difficult. All we want is for you to put him back to sleep. At least for the next seven days. So that we can both relocate our families to some way safe, please. The best form of defense is to attack. Go! And do whatever you can to protect your family. Because the great Adele cannot do anything for anybody for now. The best thing for us to do right now is to attack him first. If not, our lives and family will be in danger. As for me, I will do anything possible to protect my family. Makani wona mundidi. Hey, Bube. What? Have you heard from uh, Nzupe, my son? No, he's still at the mountain. But I'm sure he'll be back today, towards evening. Uh, hey, Bube. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Bube. You mean my son is still on that mountain up till now? Yes. Hey. Oh. Biko, can you go and call or even check on him? Because I wouldn't want anything to happen to my only son on that mountain, you know. Mama, nothing will happen to him. Eh? Nothing will happen to him. He's covered with the blood of Jesus. A Amen. Eh? Amen. Yeah. Let me go and check on him. God bless you. Honey, you just have to bury your mom and your sister. They can't continue being in the mortuary. Listen, <clears throat> you see, they don't call me Nelson too much money in vain. I am Nelson too much money. Nelson Valletta. All I want you to do right now is to focus on how you can get pregnant for me. I need a child that will inherit my empire, my wealth. Forget about my sister and my mother. I will bury them when the right time comes. Remember, I am Nelson. Too much money. Do you really want me to get pregnant for you? Of course. I want you to bear me children. I want to see children around this house playing, calling me daddy. I want you to get pregnant for me. Let's go to the bed. Have some today. Good girl. <laughs> bed routines. Hold on. Turn around. The creator of heaven and earth. It is written in your word that no weapon fashioned against the children of God shall prosper. Our body and soul were created by God Himself, and no man or woman has the power 
to take anything away from us. I stand on your word in Matthew 18, 18 to untie my parents' sight. In Jesus' name. Every prayer will be lost to me. Oh, no, no, no. He's the creator of the world. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. I can see. I can see you. I can see you. I can see you. Hey, I can see you again. She make it. <laughs> ah, I'm seeing you. She's going to see. I can see. No. Papa, you are here. I can see you too. Mama, don't worry. <laughs> the Lord is with you. You can see. I can see. You can see. Okay. Oh, I can see. Don't worry about it. You can see again. I can see. Hey. Ah. This is your mom. Hey. Hey. I'm not eating anything. My brother. Huh? It's cold out there. That's a tapioca. In fact, as I was telling you, I didn't know that my son possessed such powers. He only spread a small prayer and touched my eyes with the anointing oil and I started seeing again. That's exactly why you should allow the Lord Jesus Christ to use him as an instrument to liberate people from the bondage of this evil one. We need such person in the society, especially now that evil are avenging all corners of the kingdom. I have started giving it a second thought. I have. And come to think of it, he's already working for the Lord. And uh, I cannot stop him as a matter of fact. I cannot stop him. But he is still my only son. Does it mean that my lineage is going to wind down because he's a reverend father? <laughs> Who said you cannot have more children with your wife? Yes. Get to work and have more children. The Lord will not let you and your wife down because you have sacrificed in Zube to be a priest. <laughs> that's just what you are saying now. There's a very big sense in what you just said now. Yes. The Lord 
We have compassion on us because we sacrificed the only one we have for you. I am going to start work again. And I'm sure God is going to reward us. He's going to give us more children. Thank you. <laughs> hey, this is true. This is true. This is true. What is the meaning of this strange dream? Why do I keep seeing this dream each time I close my eyes? And I was even happy, and people love me. Children love me more as a reverend sister, to the extent that they run to me even when I'm walking on the road, instead of feeling me like they normally do when they see me in real life as anything to talk to. <laughs> And it will walk beside me and smiled. I noticed the way he looked at me. He had never looked at me like that ever. I really like myself as a loving sister. And I seem so happy and free. I'm ready to go to the village. Honey, I have this um, strong feeling that the Lord will change our hearts. That she will set me free. So let me go. It's all right, sweetheart. I am giving her just tomorrow to do the need for. But when she fails to do so, I will storm the entire village with my prayer warriors, not just your father's shrine. So she had better do the needful. Hmm? It's okay. I'll go. But just um, give me some time till like 12 noon. If you didn't hear from me, you can come over. It's all right. Let us pray. Okay. In Jesus' name. Each of these bags contains 10 million naira. And we are willing to make it double. That is 20 million naira. If you will hand your boss over to us. Yes, you have to be smart. Or will you rather die for something you know nothing about? Oh. Magadi, I know you so well. You just got married to a beautiful dancer. Very beautiful one. A very sweet one. She just got admission at the State University. She just got an accommodation at Omar's Lodge, room 306 to be precise. She just paid for it by 12.05 p.m. today. So you see, I know you so well. So you have to think and act wise or would you rather want something to happen to your beautiful dancer or any of your family members? You have to think smart. And not just that. We will practically secure a kind of visa for you and your family. So you have nothing to worry about. Think.
Text me where you want him delivered before 6 p.m. tonight. And before 6 a.m. tomorrow, you will have him. If you play me, I may be more dangerous than my boss and have no option to continue from where he stopped. <laughs> I like this guy. I like this guy. That I will handle it. Makane wore a mundiji. Walking, I bear there. And I never doubted you. In my half hour. More celebration. More money. More women. <laughs> you know, uh, they say money is the root of all evil. Poverty is the root of all evil. <laughs> tell them! Tell them! <laughs> Tomorrow is the day. And Nelson will go down. The news of how you delivered your parents is everywhere in this land. You must be in a good relationship with this, your God. Yes. All of us are in good relationship with him. And he loves each and every one of us, including you that is sitting here. Nzube, I don't know your God and he doesn't know me. He knows you very well. He knows everything about you. Even before he placed you in your mother's womb, he knows that you will someday serve Akataba. So why did he allow me to be serving another God, not him? If actually he knows everything about me, even before I was conceived. Because through your repentance, his name will be made manifest. He is the creator of the whole universe. Even your God, Akataba. Akataba is the greatest God. Even the idea we often soccer can testify how mighty he is. I am not doubting the power of your God, but just at the mention of the name, Jesus, every knee shall bow, including Akataba. Yes. Please, forgive me and my family. I you are my sister. I know you have a soft spot somewhere in your heart. Don't you want to see me have my own children? Don't you want to see your siblings call you auntie? Now please, set me free from this bondage of Akatakwa so that I can be a children of my own. Please. Um, please, Heron Father, please help me talk to her. Please beg her for me. For she to set me free from this evil bead on my waist. So that I can conceive and bear children for my husband. Please help me talk to her, please. How is that bead on your waist stopping you from having kids for your husband? She knows. That's the bead from the great shrine of Akatakba. She was meant to serve the shrine. I am doing her work for her and she wants to live with the man and have her own children. It's not possible. I'm sure you know that's not possible. Until you do the needful, you can never have a child called yours. And no man born of a woman can remove those beads, not even your husband. If that is what it will take to set your own blood sister free, so that she can have her own children for her husband. Then I would do it. But no. Whosoever the Son of Man sets free is free indeed. 
go and multiply with your husband. Hey baby, listen girl, listen up. In this car, I have two. Magadi, Boss. are you 100% sure of this, your intel? Yes, I am. So, why are you driving at the middle of nowhere? That is why it's the best intel. Kevin and Jude. They have plans to acquire massive plots of land to build their estates. And the realtor is showing them the land today. We have to storm them and do the needful without any interruption coming from anyone. I came here with digging tools in case if you wish to bury them alive. I like the sound of that. Burying them alive will be the best thing. I would do. We can settle this amicably, Dikun. Let us settle it amicably. Huh? Ojugo, I believe you have come here to see us in peace. Peace will never reign between us. Not while I'm still alive. Every member of your family will never know peace or be happy. <laughs> it is not for you to decide that, Ojugo. Because peace is a gift from God to his people. And that peace will be with you and your family if you leave us alone. Ojugo, be calm, be Eh? Whatever it takes to make it up to you, I will do it. Shut up! Papa! Father! <coughs> I command you to get burned by the Holy Ghost fire.
Prayer is the key. All power belongs to God. All power belongs to Him. There's power in the okay? prayer. Prayer hey. is the key. The name of the Lord is above hey. all our name. Every other God hey. is a man made God. There's power in prayer. I cannot continue to watch you kill innocent people. Game over, Nelson. Take him to the grave. Move it! Oh. We have another 10 million for you. Don't worry, we'll take it from here. Let's go. No move, no move, thank you. Okay, no move, calm down. Vanity. If any man. If any man. There is always destruction at the end. Oh no! Oh no! No no no! If any man, if any man, if any I'm just here. <laughs> Babe, I'm telling you the truth. I'm saying. Mm. Sick! 
take me to the village now. I'll call you back. Okay, I'll take you. Just calm down, okay? Are you? Life is something else. This life is something yes. else. This life is we did it. We can now enjoy our money. Yes! Peace! <laughs> Let's have full good. Jew! Kelvin! The great Adere wants to see you first thing tomorrow morning. Is there a problem? I was about to ask the same question. I hope it's not about Nelson. Life can throw you off because of money. Mama, the daughter of the great Ijele. I present to you the heads you asked for. Take them and do whatever that pleases you. And on time, the greater there. Adiere is free now. The great Akatapa have accepted the sacrifices you gave to him. <laughs> Adoro! Okoye Yemma! Oye ya da kane vini grubo ze kile mugo. Aloa! Ejo bushi! Aloa gede 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 gede. Ajula kwa mabe! The great god of thunder, Ekile Muno. Ekile Muno, Ekile Atu Kile Rojimiri, Nara Mwenye Pangu Makwa. Mwa ya anu mwenye roku yonu, Mwema yoko anu kikamu na muyoji yonu, Futaru wa bagbushu yoliri ya ushi kwa. Mwema benu mwenye, Ikenga, Ekile Kwe Muno, Mwya nasu nunu, Alwa no.
You are the mother of all girls, the great Adere. You allow them to tie your hands, eyes, and mouth because of the motherly love you have for her. Visit Akatakpa Shrine and strike back at Kuma. Restore your glory and dignity, the great Adere. is asking you how you are doing. I am fine. Ma, I am deeply sorry for the death of your father. There was absolutely nothing I could do to prevent the Holy Spirit from doing its work. But I still believe that there is time for us to amend our wrongs so that to achieve a one peaceful family. Please, Ma. Please, Ma. I am sorry for your wife's inability to have a child. I, I know much better now, and I promise she will have a child sooner than expected. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, thank you so much, Ma. Thank you. God bless you. Ma, we love you. Thank you. I do see myself in my dreams as a reverend sister. I, I, I love that feeling, but I, I am too committed to what I am doing. Ma, you will make a better reverend sister, I promise. I trust you and I believe in you. Hmm? Oh, 
To God be the glory. Um, Ma, everything worked for good to the glory of God. Oh, 
My sister is dead! My sister is dead! She's not dead. She's sleeping. Almighty God truly works in mysterious ways. The dangerous strike by Ezewanya Dere and the resurrection through the power of the Holy Ghost is just has been planned by God. And He perfected the plans already and allowed it all to happen for her soul to be saved. Mm. So this is the piece I've been missing. It feels so good to serve the Lord. My Shakira, Shakira, this is time to shake and dance in the Lord joyfully. It is time to sing a joyful song in the Lord, baby. It is time to shake it in the Lord, baby. And I am now the cross bearer of the Lord, baby. <speaking in Spanish> Oh, 